happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm here this week to talk about holiday slash Christmas traditions because I fucking love Christmas time and I had to do a Christmas video. So something that's really important to me is Christmas traditions. And my parents were actually great at having Christmas traditions that we did like literally every year. And as a kid, having those things to look forward to was awesome. So I really wanted to implement something like this into my my new family's life. So me and my son and my boyfriend so that we could have a similar childhood for Evan where he grows up excited for Christmas. He has traditions that he looks forward to. And interestingly enough, I actually read in, I think the book was The Female Brain, um, talking about how children whose families have traditions always, like pretty much no matter what the tradition was, the children always look back and think that those were like the best times. Even when it was, it comes down to like the most simple thing, like having pizza every Sunday after church, um, or something like that. But anyway, I'm talking about my family's Christmas traditions. So one thing that I absolutely loved was every year, the day after Thanksgiving, we would get our Christmas tree. So for some people that might seem early, but I loved it because not only did we have Thanksgiving to look forward to, but the fun didn't end. And I would head to the Christmas tree farm with my family and we would chop down a Christmas tree together and then spend the rest of the day just decorating. And um, we have this special family drink. I have no idea like who in my family came up with this recipe. I don't know if it's been there for years or not, but ever since I was a little kid, and when I was a little kid, I didn't actually drink this drink because it's alcoholic, but I always remember my parents drinking it. And then when I was old enough to drink it, it was just the best and it is the best holiday drink. So I'm going to explain how to make that at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, so we would have just this every Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, that was one of our traditions that I always looked forward to. So. For me and my smaller family now with Evan, we have a couple traditions that I'm really hoping to keep and implement. So one of them is we're in Pennsylvania and near Philly there is this place called Longwood Gardens, which is this massive, like, I don't know how big it is, but like, if I had to guess, like 20 acres, <laughs> I have no idea, but basically a lot of land and it's just this like beautiful garden and every year for Christmas, they decorate with lights everywhere. And it probably takes like an hour and a half to walk through. But you go at night and you just get to see all the pretty lights and the flowers, like the Christmas flowers. And they have trees decorated and all different like themes because they have some older buildings. So it's like, you know, um, themes from like the early 1900s in terms of Christmas ornaments. So it's just beautiful. And over the years, since I've moved to Philly, we made it a tradition with my friends to go see the lights. We'll grab like hot chocolate and um, drinks afterwards. And it's just been this really awesome thing. But now that I have a son, I would like to start this new tradition with him. We don't have a specific day that we go, but every year we go to Longwood Gardens. So I'm really excited to do that with him. And this will be the first year that he comes with us. And it's just, it's just really cool to have traditions like that because I always look forward to it and I know that a little kid going to see all the Christmas lights is going to be stoked too so even though Evan's probably a little too young to remember right now I know he will eventually so that's one thing that I love doing and another thing that I'm really looking forward to is this might sound a little like t too simple maybe but I love the movie Elf, right? So I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's Will Ferrell. He's dressed up as an elf. He thinks he's an elf. He's not. And it's the best Christmas movie. So I want to add this to my Christmas tradition with my son and on top of decorating our tree on the day after Thanksgiving. I want to start watching Elf every day, every Friday after Thanksgiving um, because I just think that that movie's awesome and it's a good way to kick off the Christmas celebration season. So that's another thing that we're doing. And then 
Another thing that I love doing is watching the movie White Christmas. It's a really old movie. I think they made it in like the 50s and it has Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney and it is just a funny old school kind of like musical I guess um, and it's it's just awesome. It's a great Christmas movie and I always look forward to looking to watching that with my family and Normally, even nowadays, I try to watch it with my family for Christmas, but if not, I still watch White Christmas every year because it's the best. <laughs> so, I also want to talk about something a little more, I guess I'll say deep, but I don't think it's, I don't know how deep it is, but we'll just, we'll just go with this, right? So, if you've seen the movie Polar Express... It talk like the main theme of the movie is about belief and believing. So one thing that my family has always done, and it wasn't necessarily having anything to do with Polar Express, but my mom always had these like Christmas bell necklaces. I, as long as I can remember, she's had them, and my parents are really, really, I guess they really focus on not just like Christmas and having it be about presents and everything, but really just believing in something bigger, something good, something more than us, right? And it doesn't have to be a religious thing. It could just be like spiritual. It doesn't matter what it is, but just believing in, in really just being good in the spirit of Christmas. That's what I think it is. It doesn't necessarily mean believing specifically in God or Jesus, but maybe just believing the spirit of Christmas which is just to me means just like having a good heart everyone having a good heart and giving to each other um, and just enjoying each other's company so my family has always worn these bells around Christmas time we'll just like start decorating and we all throw on our bells and just wear them um, as we do the whole Christmas stuff and so a couple years ago, my dad actually bought, we used to have like really cheap ones that were just like, like different like colored ribbons and they were just, they were pretty crappy, but um, my dad finally a couple years ago bought each of us like a special bell and this is the one that I'm wearing now. Um, and he told me that he spent quite a bit of time finding the right sound. So I'm gonna ring it so that you can hear. actually does sound nice but since the movie Polar Express came out I feel like it really just like solidified our family wearing these bells and really like why we wear them because it is about the something good it's about something more and I think that's awesome so I really hope you enjoyed this video about Christmas traditions. I hope this inspires you to come up with some traditions of your own, whether you have a family or not. Maybe you're just a single lady living up the best life and you just want to make traditions with your friends. I think that is so important, like whatever situation you have with your family. So I hope this inspires you to make your own. I hope maybe you got some ideas and I'm about to show you the holiday drink recipe so stay tuned for that i hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think about this video comment below with your favorite family christmas tradition and i hope you have an awesome christmas merry christmas hey everyone so i'm gonna walk you through the best holiday drink ever it is super easy it's just a pumped up eggnog so Eggnog, usually I get Hood brand, but Target didn't have it, so I'm going with Target brand. So, we do about a half of a glass of the eggnog, and then we do Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liquor, and the shit is just, it's bomb. And then you do about half, this is really personal preference, I like about half and half with the ratio and then we take an actual nutmeg and then I shred slash grate it with my nifty little finger over the top of my fancy little Christmas glass that I got from TJ Maxx because I'm that cool and I 
think we're good. Cheers.